Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 22635.4660. The Beta channel is still on 23H2, but this is the first build or update for Windows 11 in 2025. And this is a small but interesting one because it has a few interesting new improvements and features, which of course we're going to cover in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is adding the labels inside the common icons for the context menu. So the icons at the top of the context menu, the file explorer and in other areas will now have labels such as copy, share, or if for example, we have a folder on the desktop, you can right click on it and you're going to see that now the labels will show up, cut, copy, rename, delete, and also share in other situations. There's also a change related to the magnifier. If we're going to open it up, Microsoft has added two new buttons, one of them being the reset zoom and the other one being the revert back to the zoom. And I think that these are some pretty nice additions inside the magnifier app for those of you who are using this in certain situations. And of course, you can toggle between them really easily. And you also have the keyboard shortcut that you can use control plus alt plus minus to revert back to the last magnification state. Also, Microsoft has started to deprecate some features. So for example, whenever you're typing a number inside notepad before, you would just select it and you would have certain suggested actions with that phone number or a date. But Microsoft has decided to deprecate this feature. And with this build, they are beginning to disable the feature. The highlight of this build is a change to the settings app. We have a new design change. And if we open the settings app, then go to system and then scroll down to about and click on it, you're going to notice that Microsoft is adding some new top cards that will show the key components or specifications of our computer. So for example, the storage graphics card and store RAM and also also the processor. And I think that is pretty interesting if you ask me and it's looking pretty good. It matches the Windows 11 design principles. And of course, it's not something that will use up a lot of space. And it's easier to see the specifications of a computer just to see from this text and uh, trying to figure out which is the processor, which is the memory and so on. You just see these top cards with storage, graphics card, install RAM and processor and you're good to go. Of course, this is a hidden feature. So if you want me to make a different video and to show you how to enable this, you can leave a comment below. Microsoft is also experimenting with an updated desktop spotlight icon as spotted by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. And you also have a dynamic text below it that's related to the current image instead of learn more about this image. And you're going to have more info about this on Phantom of Earth's Twitter account if you want to check that out. And also another improvement in this build is related to the snap assist. So whenever you have multiple apps opened, you can hover over the maximize button. You're going to have this new addition, choose where to move this window, this new label or text, which shows you the keyboard shortcut as well. And also whenever you're dragging a window, we're going to have a pop up at the top of the screen, drag a window here to arrange your screen alongside with an icon and the keyboard shortcut. There are also different variants to this. You can also check those out on Phantom of Earth's Twitter account if you want to see all of them. But basically the different variants will include different texts or different phrasings of this current text. There is also a fix in this build. Microsoft fixed a few issues impacting file explorer performance and reliability. And this is pretty much all there is to it to the latest beta channel build. It's a small bet, but an interesting one if you ask me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.